to the auction yesterday and uh, this is what I got I paid hundred and thirty seven dollars for everything that you see on the table here so let's just get going on to what I got how, how much I paid for it and what I think it's worth the bivvies for a sleeping bag back there it's an ACU digital it's Gore-Tex that and a jacket on top that was in a lot that was three bucks the bivvies down there is probably worth about thirty five dollars I don't know what the jackets worth probably ten bucks or whatever uh, this this was a three dollar lot I got two masks they're made in the United States I looked I looked them up they're worth about twenty dollars a piece I got six pairs of thermal underwear large and extra large um, all the grays extra large uh, they, and so I can sell all four of those in one lot I got a bunch of uh, reloading books down there if you want to go to Idaho Hillbilly's channel he uh, he's doing real well with his uh, reloading books his I might have to lock mine up. I think his are a little better though. Next thing I got was uh, the sleeping bags. I got a list down here of what I paid and what I think I'm gonna get. Uh, sleeping bag system right here. This is a uh, all weather modular sleeping bag made by Tenure Industries. Um, knew they run around 200 bucks or so used. This one's in pretty good condition. I should be able to get 50 or 60 bucks. I'm into that for $10. It's got the bivy and everything in there, what have you. Um, on to the next. Okay, this was a toy lot. Supposed to be a toy lot. $14. It was in a tote and on top of the, uh, on top of these uh, swimsuits here. I got 11 swimsuits. Was a tray and the tray was filled with uh, with toys uh, that weren't worth much. So they're not they're not here. Um, but I got 11 I got 11 swimsuits and these are high quality swimsuits made by Nike I don't know if you can see that or not let me see if I can get it to focus in okay $180 one of them's $260 most of them are uh, $180 variety but it's over $2,000 worth of swimsuits there I'm hoping I'll get you know between 35 and 40 percent of retail they are new with tags so I'll, I should get somewhere between six and seven hundred dollars out of those swimsuits they are all different size which I don't care this time because it's such a high dollar item It'd be nice if a couple of them moved quickly um, what did I get after that okay all the car cleaning supplies now I'm into the car cleaning supplies for forty six dollars but I think I stand to make about six hundred and fifty dollars unless I try to blow it out you know quick uh, quicker um, I think at $650 is pretty reasonable for it to move, but I got to uh, start out with the little guys here. I got 80 of these. These are worth about $4 a pop. So uh, I got three of these. These are worth about mm, 7 or $8 a pop. I got uh, six of these. These are worth, uh, what are these worth? These are worth about $10 a pop. Uh, these are different. All five of these are different, but they're worth about $15 a pop. Um, all everything you see over here all these are uh, worth I got uh, six of these these are all worth about $20 a pop uh, the gallon is worth about 40 and the paint restoration kit over there in the corner I think is worth about 30 35 dollars so I got I'll be doing I'll be selling uh, I'll be I'll be selling McGuire's product here for a little while um, which is fine on to the next okay the jewelry lot the jewelry lot okay I'm into this it was in a bag the woman had it in her hand and she didn't want to let go of it but she hadn't bought it yet it hadn't gone up for auction yet so I finally got to take a look at it after I asked her probably on the third time you know can I take a look at that and uh, I, I noticed I didn't get it I didn't get much time to look at it closely but I did see a couple pieces in there that struck my interest this was one of them. It's uh, it's Aztec or Mayan or whatever. Uh, it's sterling, onyx. Uh, that's a pretty good piece, I think. Uh, these are silver also. These pieces here. Now, these I'm on. These I'm on the uh, on the fence about. I don't know if they're silver or not. I, I might break out the tester. I know they're not magnetic. Now, oh, geez, let me get that off. I got a pretty strong magnet here. I know they're not magnetic. If you look at them though. It's a really detailed filigree pattern. I think they're, I think they may have came out of Indonesia or something, maybe India. I mean, 
and this piece also this one's got a weird stamp on it it's got a bird in a triangle or a diamond shape and I'm, I'm looking up hallmarks to see if I can't find this out this is uh, this has got a real light stamp on it I believe it to be uh, I believe it to be silver um, I haven't tested any of this yet so that's what I got for the $10 lot I got a couple of political pins and some lower end costume jewelry nothing really good I think those might be Napier uh, I don't know oh there's a bone ring I think this is bone I haven't I haven't tested it uh, with the hot pin yet Let's see if it's resin or bone or whatnot um, uh, the watch the watch is worth about 15 bucks and, and nothing really high in there but I think I think I should easily be able to get a hundred out of this this lot I, I, I would think so I think there's some pretty cool pieces in there so after that what I, what else did I get what's next on the list okay the artwork and the toys so here's another one that says toys on it okay this was in a big bin um, and there was some nerf guns in there and after the bidding was over the woman stomped off mad and uh, her about nine-year-old son was throwing a hissy fit and uh, I, I approached her after I had bought the lot and I, I offered to sell her the you know I asked her what she was looking for out of the box and she said she wanted the nerf guns for her kids so because she'd bid me up that high nobody else was bidding against me but her I said well you, you know if you want all the nerf guns and everything you know, I, I could have made money off the Nerf guns, but, you know, sometimes you got to work on your relationships at these, uh, at these auctions. So I sold her all the Nerf guns, the two Nerf guns and all the darts and accessories for, for 10 bucks, which, you know, I could have made money off of them. But, you know, I made plenty, I'm going to make plenty of money off of this lot. So now, instead of being into this lot for $22.50, I'm actually into this lot for uh, $12.50. So, at any rate, I got... The Nano 7 generation, brand new in the box, missing a cord. I think it's worth about 75 bucks. The uh, Nano, uh, or the uh, iPod 4th uh, generation, it is the U2 uh, edition. It is a little beat up. I'm going to probably clean that up some with uh, some of that uh, scratch removal stuff. Uh, worth about $20, $25. These military uh, challenge coins are were good. A couple of them are worth $20, $25. A couple of them are only worth about $15. And then there's a couple of them that are only worth like 6 or 8 bucks or whatever. And then this guy over here, he's a Wi-Fi touchscreen uh, personal viewer. He was, uh, he's, he's worth about $50. Um, the patches, they're not worth a lot. This one, this is pretty good though. This was in the box. I wasn't sure if it was in the box though. I didn't have a chance to open the box before... Uh, the bidding began but it is in the box and it is worth about 150 bucks so I was really happy to see that it was actually in there and it looks like it's in mint condition too so it's easy $150 so that right there will pay for everything I got and I should be able to turn that over fairly quickly now at the end of the day at that auction this particular auction I'm going to they allow you to go ahead and pick through the boxes if you want and um, you pay them five dollars and you can take whatever you want well I kind of looked around to see if there was anything that was worth anything first and I came across this uh, this leather jacket now it's not a faux leather jacket it's an actual leather jacket made by Columbia Sportswear I think it's worth I think I should be able to get 50 bucks for it or so um, I got an LL Bean jacket down here too it's a uh, it's pretty it's pretty nice it's not it's not that old though but that should be that should be good for about 50 bucks um, I got these three items so there's a hundred bucks I got these three items uh, Multi-tap for PlayStation 2. I think it's like $15 ship. The Technics uh, remote control. I looked that model up. It's about $15 shipped. The Olympus uh, voice recorder thingy. It's worth about $15 shipped. Uh, so, and then these I should be able to get $20, $25. Uh, this is a Camelback cleaning kit, and then a and then a military uh, reservoir for the hydration systems for the the Camelback systems basically. So I think I made about $160 at the end of the day off that five bucks. So it's pretty happy about that. But that's everything that I got. Oh no, here I got these two. These were these were basically at the end of the day. So for the same five bucks, these are basically free. I'm keeping these silver plated uh, flatware, black collectibles, and uh, rare and expensive uh, postcards. 
uh, continuing my education because that's what it takes. Um, well, thank you for thank you for watching. Uh, that's my little haul that I made. Thanks.